What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Sit Down Saturday, and today we are going to do the verses. A lot of people are like, where's the verses? Man, I just got the figure put up on Friday. I, I don't know, I only have but so much time in the, in a day, and I try to do the most of my 24 hours, as I hope you do too, but I mean, I only have so much time, and that time wasn't going to be that. But it is now! So we're going to get to that for sure, but in order to do so, we need to get to the just smallest bit of housekeeping, and the housekeeping this week isn't even toy-related. I could go on about the Waveman thing, but you know what? It's best to just let that sleeping dog lie. If you you want to know my uncut thoughts on that and how kind of political that toy is, it's on Patreon right now if you want to check it out. But what I'm here to talk about is a GoFundMe. There is a GoFundMe that's up now. The link will be in the bio for a community member whose niece, I believe, is facing a pretty significant challenge with a brain cancer. And I don't want to start off the show on a bummer note, but this kid is facing more challenges than most of us have ever seen in our life at the tender age of two. So the link will be in the bio. If you got something in the couch cushions, feel free to send it his way. He's one of us. Let's take care of each other. And with that being said, I think we can jump right into this. These are two very, very similar figures, so I think it'll be interesting to take a look at. Also, just for the record, some of this stuff is going to have to be subjective. I try to be as objective as possible. Some of it's going to have to be sub subjective. Also, in regards to scale, we do the best we can with the tools available and use the Sunbow chart as a blueprint. Doesn't mean it's the most accurate thing in the world, and each episode is different, and blah, blah, blah. I get it, but we have to have some sort of standard, right? This is ours. So let's go ahead and get started without any further ado. So we'll start with accessories, of course, and both come with a slew of heads and faces to include an IDW option. Both come with the rifle, both come with the kind of missile launcher, but the X-Transbots comes with the pistol. The X-Transbots comes with the science accessories, the beaker and whatever. What am I, a chemist? And the X-Transbots comes with the miniature representations for a that thing with that episode bit. So the X-Transbots just sort of has more. Whether or not you care or I care, totally different conversation, but objectively we have to just agree that you get more for your buck and for less bucks but that will come later on gimmicks wise they both have the idw element which is a gimmick but x transbots has the working microscope and therefore takes the gimmicks category. And now we'll move into build and materials. So we'll start with materials. Both have great materials. The plastics on both feel great. The die cast on both feels great. But in terms of build, Fans Toys just integrates it better. Fans Toys is quite used to working in this scale. And what I mean by scale is not masterpiece scale, but this size of a masterpiece figure. They're used to integrating die cast well, if not always logical, always well. As far as hardware goes, it's going to be a tie. X Transbots has ratchets in the shoulders that Fans Toys doesn't have, but Fans Toys has harder ratchets in the hips that the X Transbots substituted for a softer ratchet. And it's wider toothed as well. So the Fans Toys doesn't really need the ratchets in the shoulders due to the overly tensioned joints in some regards, but they have a demerit there, whereas the X Transbots didn't use the best form of ratchets for the hips, so I'm tying them out for hardware. From the front, man, like, I gotta be honest, like, I just think the Fans Toys one has more of a presence, you know, and I don't know what to equate that to. There's something about it that I think proportionately works better. Like if you look at where the Fans Toys arms end, right? They end at about the same place the X-Transbot's arms end. But the pelvis sits higher, the chest sits higher, the arms sit slightly higher, the head is higher. But they hang at about the same level. I don't know if, that, if that's what it is, but there's something about it that just at first glance to me looks more together about the Fans Toys one. So I gotta give them credit there. As far as the head sculpts go, I I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure if either one of them really nailed it. I'm not sure if the face is really captured properly in either. And I went through and looked at a lot of the G1 tune panels and pics and such, and I see kind of like where each got the inspiration for their face. There's sometimes where his head looks fatter like the Fans Toys. There's sometimes where it doesn't like the X-Transbots. They're both decoed about the same. So like, I just don't think there's anything really distinguishable between the two in regard to what's clearly better. I think that both of them kind of missed the mark somehow. Good news is they come with a thousand faces each so maybe you can swap out different ones here and there and get something going for you and once again same sort of deal from the side both decoed about equally they make different decisions in regard to the helmet and where the helmet kind of ends up i think i probably prefer the fans toys helmet but i'm not sure that that's what x transvice was going for it's really it's impossible like it's so negligible really once again from the front it's like you know what, what are we supposed to say here you know they're so bloody similar like i prefer the kind of chrome on the fans toys over the silver of the X-Transbots, but they both decoed it. 
Do you know what I mean? It's just a matter of preference. So I can't like objectively give one a point over the other for that. The Fans Toys has kind of let less line work break up due to transformation in the abdomen, but not enough that really separates it from the X trans bots or distinguishes it from the X trans bots. I got to tie this out. From the side, I mean, same sort of deal, man. Like, what are we talking about here? The X trans bots has more of a backpack. I think I might actually prefer that, but it's nothing to give a point over one or the other. The X trans bots has a big hole in it, but that's because it broke. But it's going to detract a point from that later on so like just looking at sculpt and paint like there's nothing to really talk about here looking at the arms you know once again it's so negligible i kind of like the shoulder pads more on the fans toys i like that the x trans bots doesn't have the tab hanging off the inside of the arm they're both painted both decoed neither of them have a whole lot of sculpt work nothing to really talk about uh, even the side of the arms like they both have the detailings in the shoulder facing outward the x trans bots has the extra sculpted detail in the dial but the fans toy shoulder pad I think looks better once again like it's just you know what are we talking about here once again so in regard to the pelvis I had to make a decision on how to look at it so to speak I'm deciding to keep the red tab on the fans toys tucked because I'm going to utilize the articulation and therefore like I can't have the best of both worlds I feel like I have to like pick one and go with it so I'm giving the leniency there to X trans bots problem is is the X trans bots pelvis looks a little messy so to speak but it has the color palette and the sculpting right plus utilizes the articulation if fans toys had that I'd probably give fans toys the win here but because it doesn't I'm tying them out from the side I don't think it should come as any surprise that we're tying them out there's just nothing remarkable about one over the other I think that's pretty plain to see once again legs similar circumstance there's elements I prefer about both but they're both so bloody similar there's no reason to give one the edge over the other from the side like I don't like the open peg in the fans toys but I don't like how busy the upper leg is of the X trans bots either and we're just talking about the upper leg for the moment but for the lower leg I actually prefer the X trans bots it's cleaner it's simpler but and I like the little square designs and stuff like I think that just looks better it looks more purposeful so I'll give the le lower leg to X trans bots from the back, once again, uh, nothing spectacular about either. Both do a good job of hiding the majority of screws in the back. Both are fairly clean. I don't think there's anything necessarily that supersedes one over the other. And look, this makes sense, right? Because we've been talking about how these two pieces look so similar. So it kind of makes sense that they would tie at the head, torso, arms, hips, thighs. X Transbots takes the lower legs due to the side details. But Fans Toys for me takes the overall kind of frontal presentation and uh, that might be my just preferences slipping through. I'm not sure, but there's something about it that just looks stronger, just, you know, straight on to me. But it is amazing at just how many tied categories there are here. I think this is the, the most tied categories by far in any verses we've ever done. And then they're both fully painted, so they're tied for that as well. Let's go through articulation. The Fans Toys head is on a hinge swivel. You get up to there, down to there, and the swivel. X Transbot, same thing. Up to there, down to there, and the swivel. Fans toy shoulders with the removal of that piece can get you past 90 degrees, 360 around, no butterfly. X Transbots get you slightly past 90 degrees, 360 around with a butterfly. Bicep swivel, bicep swivel. Single hinged elbow that gets you past 90 degrees. Double hinged elbow that gets you further past 90 degrees. Wrist swivel, thumb on a ball peg with a secondary hinge, fingers on a base pin knuckle independently articulated with a secondary knuckle pin as well. X trans bots, wrist swivel, two additional hinges on the thumb, base pin knuckle at the base of the palm and a secondary pin at the secondary knuckle. So we gotta give that to X Transbots for the more articulated thumb. Waist swivel, ab crunch, limited. X Transbots has a waist swivel as well as an ab crunch, but I won't be using the ab crunch because this doesn't belong to me and it's too scary to manipulate. Hips, out to the side for the full Van Dam, forward and back for the full Monty, pretty much. Out to the side for the full Van Dam, Forward, back, for basically the full Monty, once again. Thigh swivel, thigh swivel. Comes apart on you, but thigh swivel. Double jointed knee for the full range. Double jointed knee for the full range. Ankle tilt up, toe tilt down with a rocker. Ankle tilt up, toe tilt down with a rocker. 
So X Transbots takes the articulation, but in very bizarre ways. It has a wider range for the elbow and the wrist has an in out movement. The hands, which is the only other one in question, I'm tying them out. Although they do have an extra thumb joint, you can't swivel the thumb in the same way you can swivel fans toys on the ball peg. So I'm tying those out, but X Transbots still takes it. They tie in every other category. Once again, the game of ties. Scale wise, we're gonna look at two different pictures. But the first one we're gonna look at is this piece, which is the Sumbo scale chart, but I think it's been mocked up by a fan. And this is the problem with discussing scale, right? But when we look at this, it shows that the top of Inferno should come up slightly over top of the head of Perceptor. And when we do that, the Fans Toys one scales better. Now, the second picture that we're gonna look at is one that Mike Elson, if you know him, he's on a lot of the groups, and he's got his own scale chart that he's kind of put together the best he can. He also has them for sale, so if you want one, feel free to hit him up. But the one that he shows has Sideswipe, where we'll just use Red Alert here, coming up to almost the top of Perceptor's shoulder. And neither of them scale properly to that. So I think I have to give Fans Toys the point here technically, but they're so close in height that like what, you know, once again, I hate that these microscopes get in the way. You know, what are we talking about? You know, like Fans Toys is maybe, you know, an eighth of an inch taller, but I just, I don't even know what's fair here. But I feel like if I had to gun to my head, make a decision immediately, it would be Fans Toys. As far as the transformation goes, neither of them are a walk in the park. Both are frustrating in their own ways, but for different reasons. Fans Toys because of the over tolerance joints, the over compensation, the over tightness, the over tightening of screws, et cetera, et cetera. X Transbots for its over complications, plus the fact that it's very easy to break the shoulder and almost impossible to not break the backpack tabs if you have them plugged in properly. But because of the breakage, I have to give it to Fans Toys. At no point did I have any concerns of Fans Toys breaking on me. Alt mode wise, I think there's something more impactful about the presence of the X Transbots in alt mode. It looks thicker, more solid, more purposeful, and we're splitting hairs. But the same thing kind of goes for the tank mode. Whereas the Fans Toys kind of feels like they found a way to add something in, almost like a fan mode. The X Transbots kind of feels more so like they really engineered near to tank into this thing. Neither are great, but I think I gotta give the alt mode to X Transbots. Accuracy wise, I'm tying them out and I'll tell you why. In some of the animations, it looks more the shade of red of the X Transbots, while in other animations or in pictures such as the one we're looking at right now, it definitely looks more like Fans Toys. The head is wider in the animation like the Fans Toys. However, the proportions are a little bit wonkier like the X Transbots. The chest ratio of white to red or in this case, silver to red, is wider in the animation as it is wider in the X Transbots. However, abdomen area is smaller in regard to the silver to red like it is in the Fans Toys. Pelvis, on the other hand, has the red bump out, which Fans Toys can do, but we can't give them the best of both worlds if we're gonna give them the articulation points. The barrel also sticks out far further like it does on the Fans Toys. There's just so much here that each one of them does exactly the same for one, and then the others kind of trade points, so I have to tie them out. Which one do you think looks better? Can I turn this one a little bit? Mm -hmm. And this moves as well. I just had him there, so. That's not easy. I agree. So my gut initially was this, mm -hmm. and upon further inspection, maybe this. Number one? I'm gonna go with this or one. Or number okay. three! Okay, so. Just take it yep, away. yep. It took seven <laughs> notes. Little Paris, little Paris reference. I don't want to be oh, in this still one. left. Yeah. I think I'm going with the left. So I agree. I, so I agree with you, but in hindsight now, look at both of them now after manipulation. The leg. The leg. Hey, right, Jana, which one do you think looks best? The one on the right. This one? Yeah, I like that one better. Okay. Pick him up. I don't think he's going to stand back up. No, try. You got to keep trying. Oh, okay. That's part of it, right? Like what feels better? Yeah, this one. All right, Selena, which one do you think looks better? That one. This one? Yes. All right, now I'll give them to you. Which one do you think feels better? That one. The same one? Yeah. Okay, got it. I don't like the other one. <laughs> you don't like the other one? Yes, I'm wrong with Look at his eyes. He's coming for you. <laughs> like, <I don't> <laughs> Oh, 
that's funny. Okay. All right, baby. Which one do you think looks better? This one. That one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Pick them up. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> that's part of his problems. <laughs> that's okay. Which one do you think feels better? This one. That one? Mm-hmm. All right. Hold on one second. So the final scores come in. They tie in hardware because they both implement a fair amount of ratchets throughout. Some are just stronger than others in comparison to one another. They tie in sculpt because most of it is very similar. They tie in paint because they're both pretty much painted from head to toe. They tie in presents, which I didn't see coming, but my kids and my wife call them like they see them. And they tie in accuracy because they just trade points back and forth. Fans Toys takes the build and materials. The build because it's just better built and supports its weight better. The materials because while they both have solid plastics and die cast. Fans Toys does not have the plastics that are the softer, paler salmon color that X Transbots used that break during the transformation. So they have to take the materials category as well, even though they're very, very close. Fans Toys also takes the scale and transformation sequences. X Transbots takes accessories and gimmicks because they just simply have more of both. Ironically, because Fans Toys included more accessories with this than they have in probably every release they've ever put out. X Transbots also takes articulation. Once again, ironically, Fans Toys put more articulation into this figure than they probably ever have, at least in recent years. x Transbots then goes to take the alt modes because I just think they look more purposeful. And obviously they take the price by like $120, $130, maybe more. I can't even remember. But significant, which gives x Transbots the win 5-4, which I know is going to upset people, but this is one that was going to upset people either way. So there it is, and I think that's pretty fair. I mean, I was actually bashing my head against the wall at some of the turns here because I was like, man, I've really got to be as objective as possible because they're just so similar, right? And in order to differentiate one from the other, you need to really zero in on each detail as best you can. But I think the points matter, right? Where the points lie. Let's say you don't care about gimmicks, but let's say you really care about build and materials. It doesn't matter really who comes out on top there. Those two points don't equate to the two over here, right? But we're just doing this in all things being equal. And then we can use this as a tool. These videos are not about making a declarative statement as to which toy is better. It's about looking at all of the components that I consider to be of value when judging a toy and seeing who did what better. And then weighing that against your own personal views and taste to see which one best suits your needs. With that being said, the build of materials are far more important to me than gimmicks. They're also more important to me than price. So while I stand behind the marks and the distribution of points in this video, I also will go on to say that the Fans Toys is the one that I'm keeping and it's also the one that I prefer. Both are pretty good figures, but once again, not unlike the Starscream, there's an ankle issue with the X-Transbots. There's also a stability of a thigh issue with X-Transbots and those two components are enough for me to go Fans Toys. So that's that. I have another versus coming, I think next week at the very latest two weeks from now. So hopefully you like them. With that being said, we'll get out of here. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.